Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over form logins. Um, I'm going to try to speed up since the last one I did hit over 11 minutes, and YouTube only allows me to hit uh, upload up to 10 minutes. <sighs> Alright, so if I go a little bit fast, I'm sorry in advance. Um, so, the first thing we're going to do is we have our basic HTML set up and some PHP tags. So, let's go ahead and put in um, a form here. Alright, and then um, the action we're going to leave as nothing since it will return to the same page. And then the method we're going to use is post. Usually use post rather than git because it's uh, has a little bit more security as far as having someone trying to hack your site. They'd have to go through a little bit more trouble. Um, so now we're going to have, oh actually I don't need that. We're going to have some input here. I'll put the input type as text. This is going to be our username, so we're going to put username and um, put this name. Make sure you include a name in there because this is what you'll be using in PHP to gather. So again, have name equals username, the type equals, uh, should be text. Alright, and then we're going to use password right here. And name for this can be password. And the type that we're using is password here. So now we have a form, um, two inputs. Let's finish this off with the submit. So inputs. Where's my mouse at? Uh, input type equals submit. So there we go. We got where we got our Username, password, and submit. That's our basic form. Now we need a. Um, this is what it would end up looking like. Again, we got user, password, and submit. That's what it ends up looking like. Now, in order to get what we uh, entered into our username and password, we have to go back to our PHP and enter in. Let's assign these right now. Put username equals. And then since we use post, we use the dollar sign underscore and post, square brackets, quotes, and then we enter in username. If we use git in our method right here, then it would be um, git instead. But right now we're just using post. And then for our password, and this again, post, square brackets, quotes, password that we used. Alright, so now let's go ahead and set up a test here. Um, if username equals Bob and password equals one, two, three. So that's going to be the username and password. Then we're going to say echo login successful. Then we're going to do an else an echo style. Give it some red text. Alright. Um, login failed. Alright, so now if we try to log in without the username Bob and one two three for the password, as you can see we get login fail. Um, so now if we have um let's say Billy, or actually do Bob, and then one two three for the password. Ooh, what happened here? Username is Bob. Passwords one two three. And as you can see, I made a nice typo here. Should have been a dollar sign right before password. All right. So now if I try to log in again, Bob. And passwords one two three. 
you get login successful and that's the basic login now another thing when you're getting form data is never trust the user so let's say that we say login successful we're going to do a new line here and do echo welcome oh, I forgot quotes welcome and we say username Let's go ahead and refresh this. We get Welcome Bob. Now, the problem with that is what if somebody start injecting um, HTML tags? So we say, um, actually, just copy this right here. And we say, Username does not exist. As you can see, it says Bob is in bold. So that means now we can uh, use HTML within the username. And one of the things we can also use is JavaScript. Now, one of the things with JavaScript is that if you allow that within your forms to be injected, and you're using the raw input that the user puts out, you can actually have a huge security risk of using cross-site scripting. And that's basically using JavaScript to really do bad things with your website. And that's something you don't want. So um, instead of saying username equals post username, we're going to say username HTML entities. And it's a function, so we can use uh, brackets. So we use HTML entities for our input. And all this does is convert the tags that you see in HTML into uh, values of, I think it's like uh, ent whatever the entity code it is. Um, so again, we can refresh, and now it gives us um, what it would look like, when, what it's supposed to look like, and what they injected. So if we go to view source here, as you can see, it gave us the greater than then less than, uh, I mean the ampersand sign, and then less than, which is an entity right there. All right, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, uh, later on, I'll show you how to use sessions, and then after that, how to actually get a username and password from something like a database.